So, welcome on into game number one between A and D and Throw. Not our regularly, not not our scheduled game, but you know, obviously W and D having a BT. Sorry, having issues fielding players. Green team for this game is going to be uh, A and D. They're going to be running Montana. So they are going to be running Montana, Burgoyne, Salem, Moscow, Moscow, Henry Ford, Henry Ford, Darren Clever. Meanwhile, over on the Red team, throw. They're going to be running Ohio, Kerfer, Salem, Moskva, Moskva, Shimakazi, Haragumo, Darien, and Yu Yang. Please don't be running a gross Kerfer down the 10 line. Oh, God. I am, I am, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, anyway, let's have a look at some builds. Uh, we'll start with throw. Start with throw builds. All right, so we have Jobsy and the Shimakazi running Swift and Silence RPF, Legendary Module, and he's going to be running the Improved Commander Suzuki. Moskva of DMC is going to be running Super Intent, uh, sorry, Survival Expert Improved. It's going to be a Vetchkin with Legendary Module. We then have Karth and Gross Kerfer. It's going to be running Full Tank um, with Secondary Module and Third Slot. Actually, he's not going to be running Full Slot at Sec Tank. I think I thought it would have been. He's actually got some Secondary. Partial tank with some secondary. Salem, Admiral Kutuzov is going to be running uh, RPF. Uh, no, 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 sorry, really expert. Um, no, feels brawler, but he's running demolition expert. No heavy H either. Uh, you're doing the daring, and we're running a relatively standard build. Um, yeah, standard build, except he's got smoke mod in. Um, Ohio for killer Ben, going to be running full tank uh, with secondary, no, with, with the range mod in slot three, yeah. Uh, Moscow Demon Slayer is going to be running Legendary Mod, so Vetchkin, Survivability Expert, Harugumo and Yu Yang on top of each other. Uh, Yu Yang going to be running Swift and Silence. Uh, Harugumo going to be running um, Superintendent EFT RPF. Uh, no leg mod? No leg mod. Huh, interesting. All right, green team. Uh, Kleber going to be running RPF. BFT, not leg mod. Henry Four gonna be running leg mod. Um, leg mod reload mod with demolition expert and superintendent and survivability expert. The Burgoyne is gonna be running brisk vigilance, fire prevention, not running a fourth heal. Uh, Henry Four, this one is gonna be running a relatively standard concealment build with a lot of one and two point talents. Uh, the Moskva here is gonna be running um, Ovechkin with the uh, legendary module. This daring here is gonna be running. Uh, standard build. Moskva back here, gonna be running legendary module, radar module. Uh, Montana back here, gonna be running full tank. I think that's about it. Yeah, that's about everybody. Oh, there's also a Salem here as well. Let's have a look at the Salem's build quickly. Uh, yeah, pretty standard. Let's have a look at the deployments now that we've gone through all the builds. So, deployments. Green team, Salem is going to be the only thing sent to the A cap for uh, Live and Dry. B cap is going to be Moscow, Montana, Daring as a combination. Then over at C cap, we have literally everything else. So Moscow, Clever, Double Henry, the Burgoyne. That's a, that's a very heavy push going for that 10 lane. Meanwhile, throws deployment. Shimakazi reversing through the A cap will be able to take that very easily. Going to discover there's literally nothing here. Uh, might find the Shimakazi soon enough. There's actually got the Moscow and the Kerr first behind him. So that Kerr first, their plan for it, completely neutered. No need for it anymore. Meanwhile, Daring and Salem at the B cap, and then over at C we have the Haragoma Yu Yang Moscow Ohio to receive this uh, very heavy push here. There was a little bit of trading going back and forth between the two Darings, but nobody really came out uh, any worse for wear, I think. All right, the farming has commenced. Uh, Haragumo Yu Yang. Uh, Haragumo got some to uh, firepower off onto the Moscow. I don't know if he got the guns locked on target where he wanted to shoot, but he can just blind fire from there. Although he is mostly missing. He's uh, dumping a lot of shells in the water there. Because with the position here, like locking on the water is going to be quite difficult unless you get direct line of sight. No torpedoes land. No shells land either. Now he's spotted again, though. Uh, they do see the clever, I guess? No, no. They don't see the clever. They see the, uh, the Henry's behind it. And the Burgoyne. So they know all about those. Demon and the Moskva are going to have to uh, turn out and start kiting now. Because he doesn't want to be focused down by Burgoyne double Henry. That doesn't sound like a fun experience for anybody. I think that at this point you need to call for the... Oh, that's actually a radar, Yu Yang. So the idea was uh, smoke from the Haru, radar from the Yu Yang. Well, the advancement has begun. The... Uh... The Kerr first of Karth is going to be pushing forward. DMC and the Moscow are going to be just behind it. Shimakazi of Jobsy is going to be like venturing up and see, all right, what's going on here? I think Jobsy's running RPF, so he knows there's something there. Yeah, he's running RPF. He knows there's a Salem there. Oh, he knows there's a ship there, but he doesn't know which one it is exactly. Or he also doesn't know how many of them are there. 
Montana has been spotted at some point during all this flinging shells. Oh, it looks like sail, uh, the sail of Admiral Kutuzov got uh, chunked there. That must have been the, the advance too far forward. The Montana was just waiting there and punishes him for it. I think there's all the interesting stuff is happening around Fidget Spinner Island, though, with this very, very, very heavy Henry Henry Burgoyne push. And the Clever as well, so... The... <laughs> Uh, yes. Uh, radar comes out from this Moskva. Another radar comes out from that Moskva. They will be picking up uh, both uh, stings over there. Wait, no, that's not that Moskva's radar. That's actually the Sailor's radar. So Yu Yang, Haragun were both going to be dumping all of their torpedoes towards this uh, for this four-man push coming around here. Yeah, Ohio of Kilobin and Moskva of Demon Slayer are all going to get involved in it as well. Uh, that's going to allow this Moskva to get involved as well. He should be able to push up and get himself involved somehow now, now that he knows that the threat of being farmed is no longer there. He can move up to this island here, get a nice little position, cut off any sort of retreat, get some fire down onto the Haragumo. And Yu Yang, there's no way that this Haragumo is going to be able to outrun this. Have a look how all these torpedoes are going to be doing. There's a Henry Four going straight into the a wall and dodges around the side of all of them. Um, that's, that's four waves of torpedoes right there. And none of them are going to land because they've all been hydro by the front uh, Henry. Well, actually, this one might land. Okay, they connect one torpedo out of all of them. Uh, the focus fire is currently on this Henry, but now that they realize that this one's taken a flood, they might switch their eye out to that one. There is more torpedoes coming in towards the Begoyne, coming from the Yu Yang with its reload booster. But these should all miss. The Emma Slayer and the Moskva are down to 34,000 health, with uh, two Henrys and the Begoyne all focusing on him. Melvin and the Haragumo there took a big whack from something. Meanwhile, at B. Uh, stuff. Back over here, where the action is. Yeah, so Demon Slayer has uh, not really got any sort of um, escape plan from this. The, ha the Yu Yang is running radar, the Haragumo is running smoke, but he's already dropped it down there, so there's no way to disengage on this. And also, Melvin's currently getting punished because he's been open water gunboarding. However, that Henry is being slapped for it as well. This Henry 4, does he have a damage con available? He does have a damage control available, he doesn't have a heal available, so there's a possibility to trade that out for the Moskva. However, they are definitely getting... So the, the split focus fire here, uh, they could have the kill on either Melvin or Demon. And it looks like they're going to be focusing Melvin, making him like out of the battle for quite a while. Yeah, he's uh, caught by the Moskva now as well. Going to get dark finally. This, now, that, now they're going to be switching back to the uh, Moskva. Killabin in his Ohio, still on full HP. Now takes a fire and all that. He's going to try and provide a little bit of a, an alleviation for Demon Slayer, who's about to get run down. And they're going to be looking to try and get the finishing blow onto this Henry before he can heal back up. Shimakazi finally gets into a position to spot that it's actually the Salem up there. Not sure if I'm a fan of the idea of pushing the Ohio that far back into the um, the two Henrys and the Clever and Burgoyne. Although there is a wall of torpedoes coming that might actually be a problem for that Burgoyne there. Because they're not currently hydro and they are very dull detect abilities. Ooh, this could be painful. Yeah, this is going to be a very painful uh, set of torpedoes. There's going to be at least four landing, maybe five, maybe six. One, two. Misses the one from the front row. But three, four, five, that's a huge chunk of damage on that Burgoyne. And they're still getting the firepower down on the Henry Ho next to it. But Killabin, in the meantime, is being focused by the Kleber as well, who decided to open up. They're all going to focus on the Burgoyne now. The damage control is currently up. Heal is currently running. But, right, damage control has gone down. Everybody's opening up now. Haragumo, um, Moskva, Ohio, everything is on this. One fire is now burning. There's space for two more if they can land the shells. And if that Burgoyne goes down, they can potentially think about recommitting and seeing if they can get the kill on this hen on, the, on one, one or more of the Henrys. The Moskva has not taken the chance to move up yet, and that means that his firepower is kind of being wasted here. He could be involved in, this, in the battle. Uh, yeah, it looks like the, another, another, like the Burgoyne is about to go down now. He's down to 2,000 health with a fire burning. Damage control is not coming up. Shell's still coming in. 
But going goes down for first blood approximately 10 minutes into the battle, and now things are uh, getting very spread out all over the place. Points currently in favor of throw by about 80 because of that kill. Caps are dead even. Health very much in favor of AND still because they kind of, they brought more cruiser. And they've been doing a lot of trading. So Killib oh, Killibin takes down the Ohio, but he's about to get traded out himself. Because he was, was very overcommitted. Yeah, Killibin goes down the Ohio as well. This leaves Yu Yang, Haragumo, and Moskva. Um Shimakazi torpedoes the Salem that was up the top here. Uh. Did he try to commit? But he tried to commit in the island at some point, apparently. So the daring Shimakazi came in, and now the Montana still broadside of these torpedoes as well. So it looks like their plan was to hover around B, look for something on something, and then finally rotate over to C. And then during the rotation, we got caught by Shimakazi torpedoes and Devstruck. However, Kath and the Gross Occur first is not going to be able to get behind that island very easily. He's got the uh, the Montana still spotting him. And Trot's coming in from the Moskva, who's made a play. He's, uh, the Moskva has reversed through that gap. So now Thro are going to have no battleships. So Th Thro technically have a ship lead, but they definitely do not have a health lead. They are down 70,000 health because they have no battleships left. Uh, the Moskva in the corner here is uh, still very low. The Harugumo is very low. The Yuyang's on half HP. They, in theory, can win this fight against the, the Kleber if they can get the smoke screen going. They already have one smoke screen left, though. They can potentially win that against the Henry too. But if this Moskva rotates back, then those destroyers are kind of in the lurch. Salem of Admiral Kutuzov never really recovered from um, getting slapped at the start of the game. However, they have managed to get a catch out onto Jaina in the daring here. Jobsy in the Shimakazi looks like he should be able to get the finishing blow there, yeah. That was uh, courtesy of the Hydro and Radar from DMC in the Moskva right here. So there's a two ship advantage now to throw. They are still down about 100,000 HP wise. Farming is now commencing upon Admiral Kutuzov. I'm not sure how he spotted exactly. Um, oh, it's Moscow Radar. <clears throat> Now, Shimakazi of Jobsy has got a kind of decent torpedo line against the Montana and the Moskva, should they try to commit. DMC and his Moskva are going to be in a decent position to hold off any sort of push this way, but a commit through this way into the B-cap will definitely be an easy take. If they rotate the Kleber off, they can definitely get him into B-cap, and there's not going to be anything to stop that. But at the minute, it looks like they're going to be using the Haragumo's final smoke screen to get just a tiny little bit of chip damage on that clever. Like, it's, it, if anything, they're going to be switching their focus now over to the Henry Four. but I think this uh, smoke screens are way too far out. Moscow of Demon Slayer is going to be turning back in. Henry going to be going for the blind fight towards the smoke screen. Uh, Radar comes out from the Moskva north of the B Island. Wall of torpedoes coming in. He's going to be see. He's going to go. Um, the Salem Admiral Kupazov is going to have said their hydro is down now. Now you launch the torpedoes, and this looks like a very, very, very painful one. There, uh, there's no way out of that. That's a very dead looking Moskva. Should be three torpedoes. One, two, three. Takes him down. Does get a shot out of onto your Dooms Daring on the way out, but that's now a three ship advantage to throw. However, the, the, the HP lead is still seventy six thousand up. For uh, AND. Just all of this health is concentrated mostly on this Montana. If we ignore this Montana, it's about even. However, the Montana cannot be ignored. The Montana is now, like, marching around the corner into the face of Admiral Kutuzov's Des Moines, who is kind of stuck bowing. DMC is also very broadside to said Montana and Moskva. It's turned out kiting, but he still takes a couple of citadels on the exit. Montana Salvo comes in. That should be on the belt. Or miss. Still alive for now. 
Um, a couple more blind fires going into that Haragumo. The Moskva has decided not to recommit fully. The focus is now on to Mentor Seraphim in the Moskva here. They are going to be sending a bunch of uh, single fire torpedoes to just stagger the approach of the uh, upcoming ships here. Just try to hold as much time as possible. But DMC is now right on the border there. He gets unspotted. There's still a salvo coming in. Doesn't go down. 6,000 HP. Time kind of in the hands of throw. Um, if they don't lose any ships, they win in three minutes. They have so many very easily killable ships right now, though. We have Daring, 1,800 HP. We have Kutuzov in the Salem, uh, 16,000 HP. The MC on 7, 000, uh, sorry, 13,000 HP now that you've got a heal off. Uh, Melvin, 4,000 in the Harrowgumo. All of them are very low. The problem is getting vision on any of them. There is potential for a clever ambush onto this Harrowgumo because I think this Clever is running RPF, question mark? Clever is running RPF and he's going to be looking to try and jump on Melvin's face. Melvin has an RPF of his own and should know it's coming. But even if they know it's coming, he can still snag that kill. And I'm not sure if the Moskva and Yu Yang can trade out for it. I expect frantic pinging to be going on, seeing the exact position of that. Montana gets the kill on your Doom's Daring, apparently got around the corner on him. Uh, yeah, he was uh, just too far out. I think uh, got caught in the Hydra from the Moskva. So that puts the t that puts the points firmly in favor of A&D. The Yu Yang of Exot is going to be launching some deep water torpedoes towards the Henry Fort, trying to get some space for himself to be able to get into the sea cap. Uh, Henry Fort going to be forced away from it. Radar comes out from the Moskva. We'll be spotting the clever. Nobody really going to be able to punish that, though. Maybe Admiral Kutuzov and the Salem can get something onto him. DMC and this Moskva trying to recommit himself to get somehow involved on the Moskva-Montana combination. But as things stand, the points are slowly taking a favor of AND. However, Jobsy and the Yu Yang has got himself into the sea cap. And as things, th as things stand now, throw are technically in the lead. Technically. Fazy and the Montana, uh, not, not the Fazy, the other Fazy. <laughs> With full HP, well, pretty much full HP, can walk where he pleases. It looks like they're trying to sort out some sort of pincer maneuver to get the Montana around the front and the Moskva to the stern. However, the Clever has got himself overextended and it might, he's acting as bait here. He's down 831 HP. Salem no longer has shots. Shimakazi doesn't have shots. Moskva doesn't have an angle either. Uh, the rotate, I'm assuming the Moskva here is rotating his guns for it. Haragumo's going to be looking for it as well. Gets dark. Shell, one salvo comes out. I'm not sure if that's going to connect. That's very floaty shells. They're definitely not going to connect. So, C-Cap was retaken by the Yu Yang. And the Henry IV is coming around the corner towards the Yu Yang's torpedoes. Will miss all of them. Clever runs back into radar range. And now Admiral Kutuzov has found himself in an awful position. He has the Moskva here. And the Montana on his stern. And he has no vision. He has no radar available. He knows he's coming. Radar comes out from the Moskva of DMC. Does not pick up the position of that Montana. Does pick up the position of the Kleber. The Shimakazi of Jobsy going to be opening up. Trying to get this kill. 900 HP. One salvo landing. Will kill him. Did not kill him. Montana gets killed. Montana gets this kill on the Salem. Salvo's coming out from DMC and on the Kleber. Shimakazi. Right, so back, that puts the lead back in favor of throw. Just. <laughs> However, C Cap is now being retaken by the Henry IV, Mother of Drago. The Moskva um, of Demon Slayer are going to have to be running out on top of that. The Yu Yang and Haragumo have to be very careful here. Because the Yu Yang and Haragumo no, don't have a smoke stream between them. But they are going to have to open up try, because the Henry should, in theory, win this DPM fight. But there's also the possibility of this Montana. Uh, the Shimakazi drops. He went for the rush on the Montana and got a trade. Back over to the Henry 4. We have, like, Moskva on Moskva, DMC, and the other Moskva are going to be doing the Dance of Death. 
There we go, finally! <laughs> HP is now finally equalized between the two teams. However, all of the HP is concentrated entirely on one Moskva here. And what a game that was. That was... That was a spicy one. They got the... <laughs> oh, God. There's some things happening in that game. Things. Absolute things. Right, anyway, um, it's 1-0 to throw, I believe. Uh, team B, okay, I'll, I'll be swapping sides, I don't, oh. Alright, he's that's actively avoiding me. <laughs> he wants to do the games I'm not doing. Which is fair. Like, honestly, we want as much coverage as possible. Unfortunately, the game I wanted to do with BT, um, they had some issues. Uh, you know, fielding players. Having, you know, it's, it's like, you know, it's, it's difficult to get, like, nine people to turn up one time. And not have internet problems and all that kind of stuff, or not have personal issues or anything like that. It is hard to get nine people together. Alright, map number two is going to be Tears of the Desert. We didn't actually get, like, anything set up. Alright, so, hang on. Alright. Map number one was... Uh... Land of Fire. Number two is going to be Tears of the Desert. And honestly, I don't think we've seen that many Tears games. I don't, have we seen any Tears games in the last couple of days? I don't know about that. And map number three, if we get there, will be... Let's go look. Looks like BT didn't need forfeit. We're not able to field players, unfortunately. You're also not allowed to play with eight people. You're also not allowed to play with a bot. So, you know, it's just unfortunate things happen. Uh, what am I doing? Ah, yes, I'm looking for... The pick ban for END through. Uh, map three will be Shatter, if we get there. Do we have a side swap happening, or...? Yeah, we have a side swap. So Thrower is going to be on the uh, Alpha team, so hang on. I've got to switch teams here, press that, and then I have to swap over the banned ships, because reasons. Wait, did I just...? Yeah, so... Wooster is banned by Thrower. <laughs> the Moin is banned by uh, Yendi.
who's watching chat's reaction. <laughs> Things happened. Things happened. No, you said you show what happened. All right, game number two, Tears of the Desert, starting very, very soon. Nine out of nine, ready for throw. Seven out of nine, ready for uh, and and they're all in the room. So, it's been the last couple. Bunch of streamers are ready as well. Don't know why they keep asking us if the streamers are ready. The streamers are always ready. We're always just, like, desperately waiting for the next game to start. I've never in my life... Well, actually, no, there's been one time earlier today. Oh, not earlier yesterday. I was like, please give me a second. I need to, like, restart the game. But I, like, announced that. And plus, like, if I have to restart the game, odds are seven different people do as well because, you know... Training rooms. Alright, um, yeah. Divine and Wooster bands. It's gonna be a lot less smoke play. Which probably explains the, uh. Um. The radar Yu Yang. I wasn't expecting that one. Uh, one of the ND players left the room. Unfortunate. I'm sure they'll be back momentarily. In the meantime, you should all ping stats bloke in Twitch chat. And ask him why he's not playing. <laughs> Game crash. Understandable, really. Well, the warships is a perfectly coded game with no bugs. Especially not training room related ones. Alright, last guy's in. It's the worst of mine. Who sometimes is a Salem, and sometimes is a Wooster. I think have we seen him in a Des Moines yet? I don't think we've actually seen him in a Des Moines. Alright, guys are ready. Should be getting on into game number two here on Tears of the Desert very shortly. In theory. In theory. Hey, there we go. Uh, one of these buttons takes me to the game scene. That one. Uh, 
I'm sure the game will actually load, by the way, and I'm not just going to be stuck in this constant loading circle forever. Because that would suck. Like, a lot, a lot. There we go. So, green team of this game going to be Throw, and they're going to be on the Northern Spawn, running Ohio, Conqueror, Moskva, Colbert, Haragumo, Gearing, Daring, Clever, and that's a lot of destroyers. Like, that's five destroyers. And uh, meanwhile, A and D are going to be running Montana, Conqueror, Moskva, Moskva, Minotaur, Gearing, Daring, Clever, and Yuyang. That's four and a half destroyers, I suppose. Minotaur is like basically a destroyer at this point. So, we could call this like a ten destroyer game. I mean, do you, I think you kind of like need some sort of like low detection, high maneuverability stuff here. All right, let's have a quick look at some of the builds. DMC running Turk Traverse. Um, running Old Boy, no. EF, uh, BFT, Fearless Brawler, no RPF. We have Leg Mod, Deering Slayer, no Superintendent on his gearing. Daring of Your Doom, going to be running standard, pretty much. Uh, we have the Colbert of Jobsy, who is not, in fact, running the church build. He's actually going to do the worst thing in the world and actually run range mod and uh, heavy HE. You disappoint us. Uh, but he's going to be running Obonino for the Improved Survivability Expert. We have the Ohio for Kilovin, going to be running Full Tonk. Full Tonk with Prop Mod. We finally convinced him Prop Mod's going to take. Karth going to be in the Conqueror, running Full Tonk with Brisk. Uh, did, did, did Bin take Brisk? Bin did not take Brisk. Bin disappoints me. Uh, we have the Moskva, Admiral Kutuzov, going to not take Survivability Expert. Going to be taking Leg Mod, though, and, and Demolition Expert. Uh, Clever for DMC, we've already been over. Uh, Yu Yang for Exot, this time running Radar once again. Uh, RPF Torpedo build Haragumo of Melvin going to be joining him with RPF uh, EFT Honestly, if you're going to be pairing these up together You may as well just like put one as a um, Only one really needs the EFT uh, Sorry, the RPF uh, That's about that for the builds Let's have a look at the red team builds here uh, We have Gearing Going to be running leg mod RPF No superintendent as well We have the Yu Yang going to be running uh, radar plus RPF, Swift and Silence, full top world. We have the Minotaur with them, going to be running radar as well with RPF, survivability expert, pretty standard build actually. Uh, Montana behind that, going to be full tonk. Uh, we have Moskva, going to be running survivability expert, leg mod of Vetchkin. This Conqueror here, going to be running mostly Tonk, but missing out on this heal. He's going to be running the uh, Brisk and Vigilance combination we've seen a couple of times. Moskva running to the absolute map border, going to be running Leg Mod, Survivability Expert, Ovechkin as well. And that's it. That's, um... Oh wait, we've missed two. We've missed these Clubbers. Sorry, the Clubber here, RPF, Fearless, and the Daring. Stand up build. All right, let's collapse this. Let's look at the initial deployments. Moskva in the corner, Conqueror. Hiding behind a B, Clever and Daring, south of B, currently caught in a radar by a Moskva. And we have literally Moskva, Montana, Minotaur, Yu Yang, and Gearing all over at the bottom right here at C Cap. For Throw, we're going to be sending over the A Cap, Gearing, Colbert, and they're going to be running at absolutely nothing. But they will be able to get a lovely sort of like firing angle if they eventually make it this Moskva where they have the smoked up Colbert farming lap. Uh, the Conqueror behind that will also be able to advance through there. And then over here we have the Solo Daring, who's contesting against both Daring and Clever, but he's being held out right now with the Moskva. Uh, Moskva, Ohio, Haragumo, Yu Yang, Clever, all over at the Sea Cap. And there's like some, basically some stuff's going to happen over at Sea probably relatively soon. Torpedoes going back and forth. I don't think anybody's really in threat. These ones, deep waters might not. Nah, um, unless Ben like goes like 63 knots faster, I think these all expire. Yeah, these, these should be expiring, like, somewhere around this area. Yeah, maybe not too close. Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll be expiring soon. They won't, be, they won't actually reach uh, the Ohio here. Uh, Kleber of DMC has to worry about these torpedoes here. Gets reversed past them. He's fine. These torpedoes going back the other way look kind of okay on this man at all, but he should have a hydro ready to go any second. Uh, DMC does get spotted in the clever, does not actually take this cap, gets a little bit chunked by the Montana. Actually, no, the Montana's shooting the other way. The Montana is currently shooting at the Conqueror of Kath. And uh, the favor will be returned because the Conqueror is shooting HE at him. So yeah, Colbert, gearing, smoke screen. Again, I think this is a bit of too early of a smoke screen. I think you wait for the Colbert to call out that he's spotted before you do anything, before you actually lay the smoke. That, that you could have saved the smoke and, like, not actually deployed it till you're, like, all the way down here somewhere. And you'd be doing a lot better, not wasting that. Unless your plan is... Yeah, may maybe they're just expecting the enemy to, um, like, also be matching them with a charge up to that. But currently, as it stands, A and B taken for throw. C has been taken for A and D. 
Ooh, Muskrat salvos into the smoke screen there. Nah, it looks worse than it is. Torpedoes going crisscross, crisscross all across the bottom of the sea cap. Um, doesn't look like anybody's going to be planning on eating any anytime soon, but they exist. Uh, Minotaur here might be has to be careful to not get himself into a crosstop situation. He should be able to get around this torpedo. That one shouldn't be an issue. Then he has these ones there as well to dodge. Fizzy in the Montana having to hide from the constant fire of the Conqueror. Radar comes out from the Minotaur in the smoke screen. We'll be picking up all three of the opposing DDs. So that's Exot on the Yu Yang, Haragumo of Mel, and Kleber of DMC. And none of them really have an answer to this. So now we have this Yu Yang kind of stuck on the map border for the full duration of Radar. And the Kleber's, uh, sorry, the gearing's going to be opening up. But uh, the gearing opening up in front of Kleber Haragumo might uh, not work out too well for him. This is the thing, the thing about Minotaur is it struggles to actually hurt stern in DDs because you do not have overmatch. You cannot just penetrate. You will bounce all over it. You'll catch some shells at the back of the superstructure and it'll hurt. Um, but other than that, you're not going to be doing like immediate burst damage. And the gear, the opposing gear is going to be taking a bit more damage in return. Um, in fact, I think that Minotaur in the smoke street might have took a bit of a hit from Kilobin in the Ohio there. Well, Raider finally expires. Exot loses about 40% of his HP for that. Uh, at the same time, they take 30% off that gearing and they get a good chunk on the Minotaur and deny a heal. Mother of Drago and this Yu Yang will be the new focus of everybody's attention. Another salvo comes in towards the Minotaur on the smoke screen. That was, uh, that was a bit of a dispersion, says no. Uh, Kleber there takes a torpedo from the gearing of Demon Slayer. Daring smokes up across the... Like, two Darings having a staring contest. This Moskrat, still here. Never been spotted. They don't know he's here. LPF from the gearing is going to be constantly on this Kleber. So they need to be... Uh, like, if this Kleber can do a lot of damage if they can reposition it somewhere. Uh, they just have to wait for the smoke screen to come back. They still have two charges of smoke screen because Demon is, in fact... Uh, run oh, he's not running Superintendent. I think he wanted the extra smoke, honestly. But... I think the plan was just, alright, we only need one smoke screen to get it into the island, and then we'll just sit there forever. But, like, once the, um, the battle collapses around this cap, you can probably find some nice angles with a cold bear to farm out anything that positions against this rock. You do them in the daring, get an absolutely giga slap right there by Moskva Montana. And daring, and Kleber, and Conqueror, and he's having fun. Keeps his damage control ready, he doesn't want to burn it just yet, because you want to be able to uh, go dark at the end of the radar. Uh, torpedo is going back across from the daring, going to be skillfully dodged by the opposing daring with his hydro running there. Back over here, we have more torpedo crisscross. One of them is going to eat a torpedo sooner or later, and I'm going to miss it completely. Uh, the next torpedo, the next radar has, sorry, the next smoke screen has came out from the gearing, and he's discovered where the Moskva's position is. Now, the Moskva is going to uh, drop his radar. He's going to spot Demon's gearing in return. Um... And they got to get a bit of chunk damage. But as soon as the gearing gets past about this point here, if he continues in that direction, uh, he's not actually going to be under threat anymore. And the Colbert will be able to farm. Because the gearing now just, like, waits for the smoke screen to... Sorry, waits for the radar to expire. Comes back in and spots. Because he outspots the Colbert, he outspots the Conqueror. And this can... F this, this, this is a DPM machine. The Colbert can sit there and farm... Moskva out, farm the Conqueror out. If the Colbert tries to interrupt this, he gets spotted. He gets uh, the, he gets to deal with the full wrath of the Colbert. Colbert has a lot of damage. It's lack of utility, which is why it's not taken very often. But in this tournament, uh, with um, such a heavy limit on the amount of radar cruisers you can bring, you have much more flexibility in what kind of cruisers you can bring. Uh, looks like a lot of trading has been going on down at the bottom, and it looks like Exot got caught in the Minotaur's radar once again. Goes down with the combined firepower of Yu Yang gearing. Doesn't look like they're going to get anything in return for it. There's a lot of spread out fire from Throw right now. They're, 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 like, there's a lot of shots going in towards the Moscow. There's some shots going into the Daring. There's some going into the Montana. There's some fighting was going on down here. Um, so all of this, like, focus, right, the focusing now, like, the call for the focus fire at the Moscow, I don't believe that's the best target. So, reassessing what can happen on this flank right now, we have a Kleber and a Haragumo, who are both very, very, very heavily outspotted by this Yu Yang. Um, so, they're going to have to rely on the radar of the Moskva and their positioning to deny this push. 
at the minute, they're just going to sit there and try and farm out this Moscow as much as possible. But he's well, he's got no damage con available. There's a lot of potential for cross shots as well. I think um, the Conqueror should have probably held... Kath should have probably held his shot a little bit longer because if this... Moscow tries to come too much further, he's uh, probably in danger himself. Now the Montana of Fazy is going to be pushing forward. He looks for a shot on Jobsy in the call bit. There should be calls for that. There's cross shots happening right now. But uh, if the Mont if the call bit angles correctly, you can just use the belt to deny most of that. Now, this smoke stream being down means that for a brief respite, this uh, Moscow should not be under threat anymore. Although apparently he wasn't under threat for much of that at all, but... Uh, his radar is now back up, right in time for Demon to be, like, far too deep. So now Demon has to leave again. Gets himself out of the radar ring, he'll be fine. Conkrat had the salvo ready for him as well. This actually might be a very painful experience. Dodges the Conqueror salvo. That's not a fun thing to have to dodge. DMC and the Clever are going to be popping his reload boost. It looks like they've got a lot of farming done on the Moskva and Montana, both. It's all at the minute about trying to de deny the re-entry into B though, and it looks like they are not going to be able to deny that re-entry into B for very much longer. Yudum is going to probably try and get himself into the cap, but he can't fight against both the Daring and the Clever at the same time, so they might have to give up B temporarily. It looks like um, Demon is going to survive the Conqueror Moskva, but that Moskva's position right now, he's, it, without the vision being provided by Demon Slayer, uh, he's, going to be sa he's going to be able to sit there safely. So, points currently in favour of AND. However, Montana has got himself very, very heavily farmed, got himself stuck up against this island, gets himself beached, pops out of the water. That flips the... It doesn't flip the points back just yet. Uh, AND are still in the lead with their two points, two caps ticking. 650 to 658. Uh, minor 12 pushes forward, drops a radar. At the same time, the gearing smokes him up forward. Admiral Kutuzov, not in range of the smoke screen, pops his radar. Um, looks like they're going to try and get a conversion, a trade kill somehow onto that Moskva as they're leaving. Ohio of Killerbin are going to be looking for shots into the smoke screen towards where the Minotaur is, I suppose. There is the possibility that DMC goes down here to this uh, Minotaur salvos. It's very low health, my, uh, uh, Clever, but he's still alive. Moskva doesn't catch him either. That Moskva pops his own radar. Also doesn't go down. So now the Minotaur is going to be opening up onto the Ohio, free farming that combined with the Muskrat, and there's no vision available apart from the Admiral Kutuzov radar, but Admiral Kutuzov and his Muskrat might now be the new target for the Minotaur. Well, he's going to be the target for the Yu-Yang torpedoes as well. So he's uh, he's probably going to go down here. And it looks like, despite Throw's combined effort trying to focus out this Moskva, it's going to be their own Moskva who is actually going to be the one that dies first. And they haven't managed to break the siege with this Moskva here. Uh, Moskva kills the gearing of... Yeah, once again, the gearing getting caught in another radar by the Moskva over here. So now Colbert has no more smokes available from him. I think that was the last smoke screen he had available anyway. Now, Moskva versus Colbert. Colbert should be able to win this 1v1. The problem is going to be if either the Conquerors get involved. Should the Conquerors decide to get involved in this fight, this changes things dramatically. Uh, speaking of Conquerors, Con Conqueror kills Admiral Kutuzov in the Moskva over there. Which means that he's definitely going to be switching his focus now over to Jobsy in the call there. Torpedoes going back and forth across the side, uh, middle of the B cap still. Killerbin positioning himself in the Ohio here means that if the gearing pushes up, he gets spotted. However, that's not really an issue. The issue is going to be this Yu Yang can still just push his way forward and respot this Kleber and Haraguruma as he pleases. They need to rotate your Doom off this and be the frontline spotting. And he has to go diving in towards Gearing and Yu Yang and hopefully they can pick up a kill on the Minotaur or one of the two DDs while they do this. But they, I think the, the best best course of action is you rotate the Daring off and then swap the Kleber in on top of the, the Conqueror. So the Conqueror goes in, pushes himself against this rock, and you use the Kleber north of it as a screen. You say, I'm gonna if they, if anything tries to push onto my Conqueror, I'm gonna dump my torps at it. I might die in the process, but it should save my Conqueror and it should save my cap. And it looks like, uh, in fact, the uh, battle was um, very heavily swayed by the influence of a certain Conqueror here. 
Jobs in limp horn mode in his uh, cool bear. Look, Kath gets a fair whack on the Kleber, but unfortunately he had a AP loaded rather than HE. I see more health bar movement over there. Has this killer been taking torpedoes? Yeah, it might be killer been taking torpedoes. I think it was actually Kath in the Conqueror that I saw the health bar move of. I've been taking a torpedo from there, and he's now in full int mode. He's pressing W towards where all the, the destroyers are. Uh, see if he can get anything out of that. Kath overextending out the back end of the... It, it, B cap does take it, but goes down for it. Uh, points now very firmly in favor of um, Andy. Jobsy and the Colbert in the corner of the map, being focused on by the Conqueror, being ran down by the Colbert. The game is going to end with a WND victory. Um. I think the problems there were Exot getting caught early on in the Yu Yang. I uh, didn't really have the support required from the Clever and Harugumo. A bit of miscommunication sounds like was happening about which was the target of focus fire. Um, not being able to get the gearing in a position to spot for the Colbert to farm out either the Conqueror or the Moskva all contributed to this demise. And with the loss of the Yu Yang in front of that, there was no way to reacquire map control into the face of that Yu Yang. Uh, gearing and Minotaur combination. Alright, anyway, that's 1-1 one, one now, and we'll have another look back at the best of three, because we do have a third map coming up in this series. So map number three is going to indeed be Shatter, everybody's favourite map. I want to say everybody's favourite map, I mean somebody's favourite map probably, I don't know who's. Sorry, when it's cuts and you've got like a million good and lose fl flying, um, throwing uh, planes at each other, but we don't have planes here. We don't do planes in classic. <laughs> do we have another series after this? I think we have another series after this, don't we? Yeah, we have one more series after this. We have, uh,. Shaft versus the runner of resin paid.
Sorry, I was uh, typing away in DMs there. It's like, <laughs> just, uh, just passing on to, to me asking AMD, uh, sorry, uh, to, to, yeah, AMD if it was alright for us to stream against though, because, you know, last minute game switch from like BT, like couldn't feel players. I was like, ah, I need a game. Ah, it's training room. Hi ah, guys, I know it's last second. Can I, can I play, please? Can I, can I do the game? It's like, look, I've already casted them earlier on, but yeah. If I was like a complete stranger to them, like, you know, I hadn't cast any of their games previously, and then it's like, oh, look, look I, hey, I'm from their clan, uh, can I cast your game? That would look kind of sus. Alright, what we got here? We have 9 of 9 in both teams. We're waiting on one more guy ready up on in these team, and then we'll get into the final game of this best of three. And I have to press the swap teams round button. Yay. You know, I'll just, I'll just press it now. Switch teams. And then we'll just look at the other scene, and you won't see that the band's the wrong way around, and it's fine. Yeah. Gaming. That's not Tears of the Desert next. God damn it, it's the other one. <laughs> it's actually Shatter. And we're actually dropping, so it's fine. We're going into Shatter, god damn it. Shatter. <laughs> Uh, yes, right, gaming. Uh, game overlay. So, here we are on Shutter for the final game of this best of three series between A and D and Throw. A and D and the green team on the northern spawn are going to be wrong Ohio, Kerfer, Salem, Moscow, Minotaur, Haragumo, Gearing, Daring, and a Clever. And I'm going to press the space bar, and then before I go over throws, I'll lead it loading the actual game. Throw are going to be running Kremlin, Conqueror, Moscow, Moscow, Minotaur, Shimakazi, Haragumo, Clever, and a Yuyang from the southern spawn. All right, so let's take a look at some builds really quickly. All right, I've done throws first twice. I'll do AMD's first ones. All right, let's go. So here we go with AMD. Uh, Daring's going to be running a relatively standard build, um, maybe apart from the IFA, but yeah. Uh, we have the Kleber, who's going to be running BFT, RPF, uh, Obonio. Uh, uh, Harugumo going to be skipping some variability expert and taking IFA achieve. A very interesting build here. Um... RPF and AFT as well. Gearing here, going to be not taking Superintendent. We'll be taking uh, Swift and Silence. Uh, we have Moskva running Survivability Expert Legendary Module. We have Minotaur going to be running stuff. Uh, that's a Radar, radar Minotaur, by the way. We have a Salem here, going to be running uh, Hydro, and he's going to be running just relatively standard stuff. He's all right there. Reload mod. Uh, Kerr first, going to be running Partial Secondary. Oh, he's running... He's, he's, Almost full secondary. The only thing he's missing is this, uh, third, this third skill here. He's even running the secondary module. Oh, the, sorry, the legendary module. Uh, the Ohio going slightly more tonk. Uh, re relatively standard tonk with the um, engine module. Minotaur here going to be running radar uh, and stuff. Hargumo. This, this Hargumo already looked at with the weird build there, yeah. And then the Clever, I think we've done as well. Okay, over to Throw. Let's have a look at their builds. Colbert, DMC, going to be running BFT, Fearless. Search reverse, yeah, that's the model. That's the build I like. Uh, you do him, Shimakazi, super uh, survivability expert. He's gonna be using the improved commander of um, Suzuki. Uh, also, gonna be on the legendary module. Not running a superintendent, not planning on being a smoke bot. Uh, we have Moscow for Demon Slayer, legendary module, and survivability expert of Etchkin. Kremlin for Karth is gonna be running full tonk with vigilance over brisk and uh, reload module. We have over here a Conqueror for Killabin, gonna be running full Tonk with the. Oh god, Ben, why'd you do this? Uh, with the legendary module on the Conqueror. <laughs> that, that, mm. Jobsy gonna be running uh, Minotaur with the sta relatively standard build, not gonna be taken. Actually, he's not gonna be taken. Wait, hang on. You're running Turret Traverse on a Minotaur? I will question that all day long. Uh, Haragumo gonna be running Survivability Expert. Relatively standard build, and then we have Moskva of Admiral Kutuzov with no survivability expert legendary module. That's all the builds. Let's have a look at the deployments. Actually, I think I missed one. I think I missed uh, the, the Yu Yang of Exot, who was again a radar Yu Yang. And he's going to be. Oh, I think I missed a. Yeah, yeah. Radar Yu Yang, RPF, Swift and Silence, full talk. Alright, anyway, 
back to where we were. Uh, deployments. Over at the ACAP, we sent... Well, apparently we had a trading app between two Klebers over here. Uh, but yes, for A and D, they've sent Kleber, Harrigan, or Minotaur over at the ACAP. Ohio is going to be hovering between A and B. Darren's going to be reversing top left to B. Crow first. Crow first is going to be going through B eventually, by the looks of things. Salem and gear in combination going to be hovering over as a kiting force, slowly going away from C, with a very long duration smoke screen that's going to be hard to penetrate for quite a while, so you can hold that for quite a while. Uh, Moscow are going to be positioned with radar control over B and C, um, mostly focused on B, going to have a nice little crossfires on anything that's over here. Meanwhile, for the throw deployment, we have a Kleber that dived into the cap very early, has now decided to leave and is being focused on his way out. We have a Shimakazi up behind that, looking to be a torpedo threat, with a Moscow behind that, all the way at the back. Meanwhile, Kremlin on his own through the B cap might be, be heavily in danger of being single fire torpedoed by this daring. And then we have Moscow uh, up against the rocks, who could be in danger of being farmed out by the sail, and if he reverses too much, he's going to have a Kerfest up his stern. Uh, then we have Yu Yang, very, very deep spots, followed by Harigum, a Minotaur, and a Conqueror behind that. I don't stop to breathe, don't worry. Alright, up here, we have, like, OC, we got the uh, DMC and the Clever down to half HP. I'm not sure if leaving was worth it. You could have happily sat there in a little while. Especially when, like, you didn't get that much in return on the Conqueror. Radar comes out, we'll be spotting the Clever, and we'll also be finding... The Shimakazi of your Doom, who was caught in the middle of a turn, and now he's full broadside. That's going to be a lot of damage on this Shimmer if he doesn't get turned out fast enough. Although, luckily, the shells seem to be missing. The Kleber is going to be opening up, and the Haragoon is going to be opening up. And that's this Shimmer's caught very, very, very deep in this radar, and there's nothing to counter it either. So this Haragoon and Minotaur combination is going to be heavily punishing. Like, the Moscow of your Doom doesn't have an angle. He's um, He, he does have radar range. But I don't think he has anybody that can provide shots. Uh, maybe the Kremlin, no, Kremlin of Koth too far away. This means your Doom is now caught on the border. I think you need to get this Moscow Radar just up to try and apply some pressure to this Minotaur who's, you know, murdering your Shimmer. Yeah, your Doom's gonna go down here. Um, and the uh, Minotaur's gonna be left completely unmolested for it. Okay, he might not go down. He's oh no, he does. He he goes down. I shouldn't have said that. I should have, shouldn't have jinxed it. All right, anyway, yeah, Kleber on Kleber violence. Um, so that yeah, dead Shimmer because he doesn't land any torpedoes for that. Or maybe he landed one or something, but nothing too spicy. Now we have Kremlin being farmed out by Daring Ohio, and meanwhile over here, well the push is working sort of. They have the Moss for capping, but the problem is that oh actually they caught a lot of damage onto both the Gearing and Salem. Okay, so. They've made some losses over on the C flank, they've made some gains over on the A flank. Um, they can then make some pushes onto the stern of this. You now have to try and farm out this curve first and Moscow. The problem is that Moscow can just go forward and come around the back of you again. Are they going to be able to kick up, pick up this kill on the Salem here? He is on fire, he does have a heal running, he does have a Damacon available. Uh, Conqueror is very far away so it would be difficult to land shells and also the same as could be said for all the... Yeah. The biggest threat to it right now is the Moscow. Who is finally opening up. He was busy capping. Moscow radar did finally come out. It looks like they might have got a bit more damage onto something over here. I think they got a bit more damage on the Clever, but they didn't really get much onto the Minotaur or Harigumo. And it looks like the Kremlin didn't... Like, the Kremlin's actually... Probably rotating the wrong way. Actually, the Kremlin's looking for shots on something else. I'm looking for shots on the Ohio Fazy there. He might get a big chunk, but it's not going to be game-changing. Or he might get nothing at all. So, uh, Kuzov rounds the corner. Props to the radar. We'll be discovering the location of the Moskva and the Kerr first. The Moskva is kind of like... In no man's land a little bit, but there's nobody really to punish him. Um, he, was got, he got caught napping between crosses, but the Conqueror has already pushed up too far, and the Kremlin has fallen back too far, so they don't have anybody that can actively punish his Moscow, so he does just what we said before. He might have to fight against this Kremlin, though. Uh, more shells coming out towards the sailing. They might be actually looking for the kill here. Harry would be opening up in the open. Melvin just looking for the last few shells to take him down. I think, honestly, at this point, even the Yu Yang might want to open up before the heal comes back for the Salem. Oh, the heal's up now. It's too late for the uh, opening up. And now the shells finally start landing. 
Damage control is also available, so he's a lot tankier than he currently looks, and Smokescreen comes down from the gear ring as well. However, if they just leave that, that's them two in the corner for the rest of the game. So they need to, like, they, they need to commit something to pick up those two kills, eventually. But at the same time, they need to start rotating and get to work on retaking B. They have an entire gross curfew they need to burn through first. And at the same time, they need to not lose Kleber of the MC. Uh, or the Moskva of Demon Slayer. Well, I said an entire gross occur first. They've gone through a third of it already, which is, you know, it's not, it's not a bad rate. Kath and the Kremlin has a nice little broadside. Okay, they've gone through half of a gross occur first. It's now just a gross occur first. Or occur first, I'm not sure which. Uh, Moscow and Moscow violence, uh, honestly. Uh, uh, Demon Slayer is going to get himself ran down in the corner. The Kremlin not in a position to support them. Actually, if the Kremlin reverses, he might be able to get a big hit onto the Moscow. Not anymore. Conqueror of Kilobin take a big hit from the GK, and he's now he's now going to end up putting himself behind that island, which is kind of unfortunate for him. Uh, Yu Yang of Exot going to miss a lot of torpedoes against the Salem. Um, I think he's running RPF. Oh, it's a it's a radar it's a radar Yu Yang as well. So he can uh, if he if he gets his distance to the border right, he can just radar and he should be able to pick up the kill on the gearing. But he needs to be careful that he doesn't eat too much return fire. But the gearing has RPF of his own and is going to be looking for him. Right. They are definitely in range of each other. So that should be an execution, summary execution happening relatively soon. Let's go back. That's GK is dead? Question mark. What happened to that GK? GK. Oh, he, he makes it into the smoke screen. Radar comes out though. That should still. That should still pick him up, right? The gearing actually going to sneak past X. So he's not going to use his radar. He's uh, not going to go with a girl. Right, so, taking stock of the situation currently, uh, we have Moskva getting ran down in the corner. He's still got a little bit of health left. He, he's going to take a little while to die. Kleber haven't been forced back. Kremlin here actually did get a fair chunk onto the Moskva. Moskva radar comes out, does not pick up anything. However, they do not have the intel to know that he used that radar. Um, I think I just saw Kleber taking damage somewhere, but I'm not sure where. Oh, I think that Kleber just took a big hit? Question mark? Yeah, Demon has found the map border. Um, I think I think that'll be his demise very shortly. That'll put uh, a few more points in the back pocket of AMD. They need uh, throw need to start converting some kills now. They fell far too far away from that gearing. They should have went for that kill. Um, and they can't just leave that Salem. The Sal the Salem's scot free now. They needed these two kills. That is, it's like those two kills were a two hundred point swing. That would put the score at 616 to 728. Throw will be very firmly in the lead. Instead, what's happening now is they're 200 points down. They are 400 points down. They are 1 minute 40 away. The Moscow has finally gone down. They didn't get the conversions on these two ships in the corners, which is a huge mistake. Because even on two caps, if they t even if they take B right now, Throw are still losing. They need to send X up back after that gearing, and they need to find somebody else. Oh, Admiral Kutuzov takes a big hit. He's on no health. I think he's got Ohio through the face. Right, he's going to get a heal off. But X needs to go hunting for this uh, gearing. The gearing has one smoke screen left as well. And it might be too little too late. Because that smoke screen, the fact that he didn't get that kill on the gearing initially, when he had him deep in radar range, is going to be the death of him. Like, now this gearing can re-smoke up that Salem, that'll be another delay of an entire dur the duration of a gearing smoke screen. That's two, three minutes. And Throw don't have that time anymore. If they had the kills, they would have both had that time and not had to deal with that smoke screen. I suppose they don't know that the heal the Salem is going to be permanently. Oh, I think they're probably just thinking, oh, the Salem's probably he's, Salem's just going to heal. No, the Salem is not going to heal. The Salem has no health to heal. 
However, now it's gone. They're just sending everything into the B cup. Literally everything at the B cup. One minute 15. Uh, they're not getting any kills. Unless they catch this daring. Oh, they did catch that daring, but they're not going to be able to. The daring's going to be able to get behind the island, right? Yeah, Darren gets behind the island. They don't manage to get the full conversion of the kill on him. Uh, Kleber is kind of caught as well, but he's going to be able to dump himself behind this island. He's not going to be able to get shots on that. Ohio's going to start getting it and making his way out. DMC is caught in the radar. DMC, uh, yeah, DMC goes down in the middle, and they just didn't convert those kills. They had a lot of opportunities to get the kills, and they just didn't convert them. Congratulations to END taking this series 2-1. Do 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 do